Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV. I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. One Car Stereo sent me this little device that essentially converts your Uconnect screen into a wireless tablet. Let's have a look. Okay, like I said, One Car Stereo sent me this little device here. Apparently, it's to allow you to run Apple CarPlay or Android Auto wireless on your screen, but it does have some other functionality. For example, it almost makes your screen here a wireless tablet. You can watch YouTube on your screen, not when you're driving, of course. You can watch Netflix, you can download some apps so that it'll play on your Uconnect screen. So it seems like a promising proposition and stick around for the tip segment because I'll have some discount codes for you as well if you're interested. So let's have a look at this device. Okay, here's the box that it was sent to me in. Okay, in another box here. All right, so this is the device. So here's what the device looks like. There's a SIM card slot a micro SD card slot which has the capacity for 128 gigs so you could store some things like apps and perhaps some video or music on here as well but I'm really interested in being able to use this device to allow me to run Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly here in my Jeep on the Uconnect system just through this device also in the box comes a cord now the USB-C goes into the back of the box that you can see right here and then you could use this cord which allows you to plug it into your Jeep anywhere where there's a USB-A port but there is another cord where if you wanted to you can connect the USB-C to the device and then to another USB-C port now in my Jeep I've got a USB-C port right here as well as a USB-A and there's probably room to just sort of keep it right here and plug like that. What's interesting also is that the device fits into this little storage cubby right here that some of you have in your JLs and you could just plug it in via the USB-C cable and then it's just plugged into here but I'm not really interested in having the wiring showing. I'm gonna keep this device in the glove box plugged into the USB-A cord in there so nobody will ever even see it. Now, what also comes with the little box is this little user's manual, but I'll show you how easy it is to just pair this with your phone in the car. It's just gonna take me to sit over here in the driver's seat and then turn on the Jeep so that things could start to pair up. Let me show you. Okay, so what I'm going to show you first of all is with my cell phone turned off and Bluetooth on my phone turned off, I'm going to start the Uconnect system and the one car stereo AI box will not be plugged in. So here I am just starting up the Uconnect infotainment system. Okay, so the car's in run position, the fan's off, the infotainment system is on. And now what I'm going to do is plug in the one car stereo AI box and let's see what happens. So the little green light at the front of the box is flashing indicating that it's working. And now you see the operating system, it's an Android operating system of the AI box is now displayed on the screen. Now, if I wanted to sync this with my phone, what I need to do is turn on my phone, enable Bluetooth so that the phone could be synced with the AI box and then it'll be paired with the box and it'll transmit the Apple CarPlay or if you have Android Auto, the Android Auto system onto your infotainment screen. But one of the things I wanna show while I'm here in this screen, cause it's only available on this screen before you pair up your phone. And that is the auto toolkit app you see right here when you hit that button the app will boot up and you could click this settings button right here and you can see the carplay icon but what i want to explain here is it's at this setting where you can pick what you want this icon to be on your carplay or android auto screen given that i have a jeep i'm going to click the jeep icon here there it is and now we're good to carry on with uh, setting up this system. We'll leave it at auto connect. So this Apple CarPlay will auto connect through this box whenever I get into the Jeep. So let's just go back to here. And the thing
thing I want to do now is pair up my phone with this. So I'll turn on Bluetooth on my phone and there's the AutoKit toolbox. And now it's connected because I had uh, already done the Bluetooth connecting with it. It recognizes my phone. And here I have now my wireless Apple CarPlay. And when I get into my car, I'll have Apple CarPlay from now on whenever I come into the car because I've now synced my phone via Bluetooth through the AI box. So you can see here, I have Apple CarPlay. So that's handy if you like to have the option of being wirelessly uh, connected through your infotainment system to have Apple CarPlay all the time. So for example, when I get into the Jeep, if my phone's in my pocket, I don't have to go searching and take it out of my pocket and then plug to a cable to the USB port of the Jeep so that I could have wireless CarPlay. I could just start the Jeep and I'll have CarPlay available to me without needing to plug in my phone. But there are other benefits to having this, which I'm going to show you right now. So when you click on the auto toolkit icon that we made, the Jeep icon, when you click on that, it takes me to the home of the operating system of the box. And then I can go through this and play around with some of the settings, or I could just scan, as you can see, through these other pages where I could watch YouTube, I could go to Spotify, I could go to Netflix. This is another media viewer right here. I could also download other apps. Now that's really getting into it and I just wanted to show you how, for example, if I wanted to just be able to get into my car and have Apple CarPlay appear, I press on Auto Kit and it brings me back to my Apple CarPlay. So now what I'm going to do is turn the radio off and I'm going to turn the power of the Jeep off. Now. I'm going to get out of the Jeep, and so I'll get out of range of Bluetooth, and I'll come back in and see how it looks. So, just getting into my Jeep now, with my iPhone in my pocket. I'm going to start up the Jeep, turn on the Uconnect system, and I've got wireless CarPlay. So my phone's in my pocket, I didn't have to plug it in, Apple CarPlay comes right up for me. Then of course, I can go back to the Uconnect system. If I wanted to get back to Apple CarPlay, I just click right there. And keep in mind, this is Apple CarPlay without me having to plug in my iPhone. Now some people say, well I like to plug in my iPhone so I could charge it. Yes, of course, you could still be doing that. but. A lot of times I just want to jump in, I don't want to fish my phone out of my pocket because I'm just doing a short drive and it would be nice to be able to access Apple CarPlay. So with this device kept in your glove box, it just makes it so that you can have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto up on your screen without having to plug your phone in. It's that simple. You just have to pair it to your phone to have that. Now, if you wanted to, you can click that home button to get back to this operating system of the box and you can click right there to watch YouTube. And you can see you can go on the internet by hitting the Chrome button. Now, I'm not synced in uh, with my password yet to have internet access. You can get internet access Wi-Fi and you can get it with Bluetooth. You just have to connect to it and you can watch, for example, um, some YouTube videos like Cheaper Jeeper TV, you can watch Netflix, uh, some other, there's another media player right here, but you have to get connected and there's a couple steps involved with that. If I go to settings, for example, if I wanted to get access to the Wi-Fi networks where I'm parked at a coffee shop or something, I could just open it that way. If I wanted to do some tethering, I click on this and I open up Bluetooth tethering. I did have a few issues connecting and it could have to do with the version of my iPhone but I did manage to get the Apple CarPlay connected wirelessly and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And now here's some tips for those of you who are thinking of doing the same as well as some tips to help you save a little money. Now for some cheaper jeeper tips. Okay so what are my thoughts on this? Well, I appreciate that One Car Stereo sent me this device to try out, thank you. Now, as far as um, whether or not I like this device, I do like the idea of being able to get into the Jeep, 
starting up the Uconnect system and having Apple CarPlay available to me wirelessly. Now I guess I'm getting spoiled because with my Jeep I have the keyless entry and I could just sit in the, the seat here and press the button and start the Jeep and I really noticed how spoiled I was getting when I had to use my wife's car and I had to use that little silver thing that sticks out of the fob. I think they call it a key and I had to stick it into the keyhole and turn it to start the car and it, the key was in my pocket, it was a drag getting out, and I realized, yeah, I guess when I have my Jeep fob in my pocket and I get into the Jeep, I'm not going through all that. I just start the Jeep and get going. So I think it'll probably be the same thing with the wireless Apple CarPlay. I'll be able to get into the Jeep and then just be on my way and have the Apple CarPlay available on the Uconnect system without needing to plug in the phone. Now some of you might say, but I like plugging in the phone because I get to charge up my iPhone while I'm driving. And of course, that's awesome and you can do that. But to me, occasionally I think it's just handy that I don't have to pull my phone out and plug it in to have access to the Apple CarPlay. I could just be driving and there it is. So for that, it's good. Now the other items on the One Car Stereo product that I have is that you can load it with a whole bunch of Android apps and have access to them on your screen. YouTube, for example, which you don't want to use while you're driving. But other kinds of GPS apps or even games you could uh, upload and have them accessible to you on your screen. Whatever you do, don't use those when you're driving. Now, if you're not into doing that sort of thing, but you wanted to have the Apple CarPlay wireless or Android Auto wireless, you can get the One Car Stereo AI Box Lite. So it costs a little less, it doesn't have as much room for you to download apps, but if you're not into that, you're probably better off to get that item if you want to get the wireless Apple CarPlay. I'll have links to both of the products in the description section and a discount code. So that's my thought. I think it'd be nice to have that convenience. I personally don't think I'm going to want to use this particular box. I don't want to be spending my time watching movies or looking at apps or searching the internet here on this particular screen. I'd rather just have a tablet to do that, which doesn't require me to get the Bluetooth fired up and the tethering going or get a Wi-Fi signal to this box because I don't know if it was because I had uh, an Apple product and this is an Android operating system. I was just having some issues with pairing the device and getting the tethering going. But anyway, if uh, any of you have a system like this and you wanted to chip in by posting some comments in the comment section below, it would be appreciated. And now let's hear from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. This week's subscriber tip comes from the Corrosion Class Action Lawsuit video. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, this happens in Canada because your Prime Minister wants you only to have electric vehicles, so every night he pees on your hinges. This does not happen in the US because our guy is too old and only dribbles his pants. Signed, Idaho 7. Hey Idaho 7, Prime Minister starts with P and President starts with P. You may have something there. Seriously though, thank you very much for the comic relief on what otherwise is a very upsetting issue for many. And if you have some subscriber tips or comments you'd like to make, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below as they may make it in an upcoming episode. Thank you very much. Hey, that's it for this week's episode of Cheaper Jeeper TV. I hope that you found it interesting. If you did, how about giving the video a thumbs up? And if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the alert bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. I'm Dino for Cheaper Jeeper TV. Be well, stay safe, take care.